Hello everyone, my name is Desiree Munoz and I'm a park ranger here and also Rumson Ohlone from the Monterey Bay area. The Presidio of San Francisco where we are standing today is within the Ramatouche Ohlone territory. Ohlone describes the Native American people of the Northern California coast who live in areas around the San Francisco Bay and down to the lower Salinas Valley. Chrissy Field was used by the Ohlone in many different ways. It was a trading post for many different local native tribes. It was also used as a seasonal village as it can be very cold here sometimes of the year. When Europeans arrived, this place changed dramatically. As part of the United States Army post, it was once a landing strip. When Chrissy Field became part of the National Park Service, it was restored to look more like the place our ancestors knew for centuries. The Presidio is important to my people today. We are standing on Chrissy Field, where we once had a sweat lodge. Rob Hill Campground is also a very important place to our people because it is where we have our fasting ceremony and our big time gathering. And I am very lucky to live and work in the Presidio every day. I invite you to discover the hidden stories of the Presidio. Hi, my name is Frederick Penn. I'm a ranger with the National Park Service here at the Presidio in San Francisco. I'm wearing a 1901 replica of an army uniform, a uniform that would have been worn by the Buffalo Soldiers. Buffalo Soldiers were African-American soldiers who served in the Old West and in Cuba and the Philippines. They also served right here on the Presidio in 1903 and 1904. Many of them are buried here in the National Cemetery and you can come and find a Medal of Honor winner also buried here. Buffalo Soldiers were the first African American Army unit that was asked to escort a U.S. President here in San Francisco in 1903 and that was by President Teddy Roosevelt. Also at the Presidio you can find the story of Colonel Charles Young who for the longest time was the highest ranking black officer in the whole military. Colonel Young also led the Buffalo Soldiers to Sequoia and Kings Canyon, where they became some of the first park rangers to take care of the early national parks. I urge you to discover the hidden stories of the Presidio. My name is Melissa Ayumi Bailey. I am Program Development Associate at the National Japanese American Historical Society. This is the Military Intelligence Service Historic Learning Center in the Presidio of San Francisco. This building was once home to the 4th Army Intelligence Language School. In November 1941, 60 men, 58 of whom were Japanese American, were brought here to be trained in Japanese language skills to, be, to serve as interpreters and translators in the Pacific Theater of World War II. While these men were being trained, President Franklin Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066 on February 19, 1942, in response to the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. This gave General John DeWitt, commander of the Western Defense Command based in the Presidio of San Francisco, the authority to round up and evict Japanese Americans from their homes in the Western United States and move them to concentration camps in desolate parts of the country. I welcome you to discover the hidden stories of the Presidio. All right, hello everybody. My name is Fatima Colindres and I am one of the park ranger station right here at the Presidio of San Francisco. And today I'm at my favorite place in the whole park, which is El Polin Spring, to tell you a little bit about the story of Juana Briones, one of my favorite people in history. She lived here at El Polin between 1810 to 1843. And uh, I just wanna invite you all to come and learn a little bit more about her story. For she was a medicine woman, a curandera. She was a, a businesswoman, and she was one of the few Spanish-Mexican families that was able to protect her land during the takeover of the Americans in the 1850s. So come and learn a little bit more about her and a little bit about how she learned to use all the plants that grow here at El Polin for food, for medicine, and for art. Discover the hidden stories of the Presidio. Hi, I'm Ranger Kelsey Jew, and I work in the Presidio at the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, San Francisco's power elite attempted to forcibly remove the Chinese community from their places of cultural significance. 
They tried again when San Francisco Chinese, nearly 15,000, lost their homes and businesses in the earthquake and fire of 1906. Unlike white refugees, Chinese homeless were moved from one segregated camp to another, including campsites here in the Presidio. Each move was farther away from Chinatown. Each camp was foggier, windier, and colder. Eventually, relocation efforts lost momentum, and many Chinese returned to their home and rebuilt their Chinatown community. And now, get out and discover the hidden stories of the Presidio. Hi, my name is Michelle G. I'm the Chief of Interpretation and Education at Golden Gate National Recreation Area. You have just heard stories of bravery, of perseverance, and of people who have faced discrimination and adversity. They may be similar to experiences you've had or experiences of your family. I encourage you to consider what shapes your understanding of the people and places around you. As you journey throughout the Presidio, I encourage you to check out our exhibits, talk to a ranger, and explore the many other hidden stories throughout the Presidio.